Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know if it's morning when I'm posting this, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna be doing a look today. I have to go to a Christmas party, but I really wanna do like a pink look because I haven't done pink in forever. My Christmas outfit is red. I'm not really sure if that's a good idea, but we'll see what happens. But I also wanna let you guys, or just show you guys my updated face routine because your girl has, she's been learning, okay? Me and you, we be learning together. I don't have it all figured out. But I did learn an updated routine that I feel like is quicker, plus it helps to just kind of define. So we're also going to be going over that in the video. And of course, we're going to be chit-chatting. So if you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe, but only if you want to be here, because you don't have to be here. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so to get started on these brows, you guys know I love to use like a setting powder because your girl is oily, okay? I'm not going to sit here in front of me get that off my lace. Oh my goodness, okay. But yeah, I'm not gonna front. I am super oily all over. And so my brows get oily in between the center gets oily. Plus, I feel like if I could just set all that oil in place, when I put my pencil on, I used to use a gel. Maybe I should go back to using gels. Maybe I will, I don't know, just a little thought I had. But um, when I set my pencil, it kind of helps it from sliding all over the place. Another thing that I have been doing is I have been brushing my brows up like so just so that way I don't make them too thick because baby I've been known to make my brows a little thick I've also been starting like right here I don't know how many quarters or inches of the way that would be baby but this is where I have been starting my brows I'm not pulling them all the way in because I feel like it kind of makes them a little bit harsh so I just start like right behind kind of I guess where it becomes thick you know what I'm saying so hit it here Make sure you get the arch up in there. Okay. Yeah. And then from there, we're going to pull down, brush them brows down. And then y'all see, I ain't got no hair right here because I may have waxed it off, but whatever. Um, again, we're going to start there and then just kind of draw them in. Where there is that little gap right there, I'm going to kind of shade that in. That way, when I pull the hair back up, bam we good you know what i'm saying it kind of gives you like a nice little natural brow effect i'm also gonna go wait i'm gonna use hold on i'm gonna use my shade espresso and the nyx pencil let me find it hang on okay i'm gonna use the pen and espresso right here in the front i think this may be a little bit too dark but we're gonna see and i'm just gonna create like just some hair like strokes right there in the front to kind of fill it in, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully y'all can see what I just did because I know I'm looking down, but just to kind of fill that in, that way when we go to clean it up, it looks more natural in the front. All right, now we're gonna go in and we're gonna clean up our brows. I'm gonna use the shade Chai. Y'all know which shade we're going in with. I use the same shade all the time. It's the Chai by Too Faced. Um, but I did just kind of want to touch on a couple things. So the first thing is, child, it's been one hell of a week in, in news, baby. Well, then, what would you consider that? Like, celebrity news? Yeah, celebrity news. It's been one hell of a damn week. Meg then came out and started um, talking about party. Parties going on the damn world tour. And let me say this. I see it from both ends, right? I like Meg. I really do. But I'm starting to notice that, and it just may be like a maturity thing, that she does not take accountability for her role in some things, right? And I'm not saying all of the things. Again, it may just be a maturity thing, but I'm going to explain to y'all what I'm All right, so now I'm going to go in with the shade Cafe on the top. I like to use Cafe because it's more of like a muted tone. Um, and then it just helps with my brow highlight, you know? But again, we'll go over that in a second. But anyway, when I say that Meg does not take accountability for her part in shit, like she recently put out a song. I didn't listen to the full song. I'm not really a, a, a heavy Meg listener like that. Like I like some of her music um, and I do like her as a person, but she put out a song and I guess in the song, again, I'm going off of snippets, but she put out in the song that Party was caught having or getting head from a young lady in their bed that they shared, right? So she walked in on it. Party then responded to that, which he really didn't respond. It was pretty much a bitch ass move because he didn't really explain shit. But he then 
responded to that and he went on a whole press tour of you know i didn't do it or i did do it girl again he's not really saying he did or he didn't do it or whatever he's beating around the bush but he made a whole song about it she gets on her live again i am snippets baby because i can't sit through a whole lot i'm not drama field like that but she gets on her live and then she begins to say well if it wasn't about you you shouldn't have responded this is this is where the accountability portion comes into play and that's why i be like me you don't take a lot of accountability for some of the shit you do so for the most part party was pretty quiet meg was pretty quiet until the song dropped right so then she gets on live and she's like well he didn't need to respond if he didn't if he's saying it wasn't about him all this other stuff ma'am this, this is what i'm saying because it was obvious that your last relationship um was with party we no longer see you with party so the fans are going to assume that you're talking about this man and then he begins to get attacked for the shit that you said right accountability here you started this because had you not put that shit in your your songs then he would have never responded and, and let me tell y'all something because i know i get on here and i can tell me all my business as well that one incident with about my friend the guy friend that i had and we wasn't cool no more. He let me know that he was on go to the internet and talk his shit. Baby, do what you do, right? Accountability. I understand I was able to vent my frustrations. So I'm not going to get mad at you for venting your frustrations. The problem that I have with Meg is that it was okay when you were doing it, right? You got on the record, you vented your frustrations. But now that he wants to do this press run now, is it a bitch ass move for him to do a complete press run? Yes, he probably should only do one interview. But now that he wants to do this press run, now all of a sudden it's, it, it's woe is me. That don't really look good. I think I'm changing my mind and I want to work with this palette. <laughs> I think. I think. I don't know yet. I think. All right. I'm going to start out with the orange. I don't know why I'm going in with the orange first, child. I probably should be going in with the brown. But we're going to start out with this orange and see what we can make happen. Okay? So I'm just applying that right here to the crease. But anyway, um, she then goes on to say... Um, she was in a very dark space previously and she was drinking all the time and then the people around her just allow her to drink and drink and drink right and my thing is yes right she's like I don't feel like they were real friends because they didn't tell me to stop drinking egg you're a grown ass woman right and I and let me tell y'all because I, I just had a situation like this and it rubbed me kind of the wrong way a lot of people do not want real friends and when I say that is you, especially if you're a realist friend, I'll be frank with like if you're going to tell people how the fuck it is all the time, they don't really want to hear that. Some people want that friend is going to be a yes man and kiss their ass, right? Meaning if you were out here indulging, I don't know. I don't know the situation. I can't be accusatory because maybe I wasn't there. I don't know. But I'm saying if you were out here and you were over drinking or whatever, and you said that you didn't have friends around you, who would stop you and stuff, my question to you would be, did you cut off those friends who tried to stop you? Did you get mad at them because they weren't giving into what you wanted and they weren't being a yes man to you and you cut them off? I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of uh, brown right here on the edges because a lot of times what will happen is people will have a close-knit friend of, close-knit group of friends, right? And when that one friend stops feeding into this delusion for you, or they, you know, sit you down, they be honest with you and tell you, hey, you're spiraling out of control. You don't want to hear that, right? So your reaction to that is to cut them off. I have a friend right now who is going through some shit, right? Continuously going through some shit. And she had another friend that told her, you know what? This is going to be the solution to whatever it is that you're going through. You just need to walk away. She didn't want to hear that. She wanted that friend to feed into her delusion. So what did she do? She wound up cutting off that friend for being honest with her and telling her, bitch, you just need to walk away from this situation. That is what I mean. Like some of y'all don't want real friends in y'all corners. The real friends that are honest with you and keep it 100 and let you know, hey, bitch, you're drinking a little bit too much. Those are the friends that you cut off. So at this time in your life, did you just want to have people around you who were feeding into your delusion? Because I also have been guilty of that as well, where if I've told my friend on multiple occasions, hey, bitch, we probably need to stop doing that. And you get mad at me, bitch, I ain't gonna tell you nothing else. But that don't make me less of a friend. That just makes me understand that right now you are not receptive to 
trying to get help, right? And I think that's something that she has to evaluate. I mean, maybe she did evaluate it. I don't know, I wasn't there, but I'm like, we can't place all the blame on the people that you are around. Now, there are some people that are around you that are in your circle who are just leeches. I had one, I told y'all about that a couple videos ago. Now I don't talk to that but There are people in your circle that could be leeches. My thing is just at what point do you take accountability? This is a little bit of elf concealer I'm going in, and I'm gonna cut my crease. But at what point do you take accountability for your actions? You know what I'm saying? And what you did in the situation, right? Because everything can't just be everybody's fault. And I, again, I don't know. I can just go by what is posted on the internet. But it seems like you've fallen out with a lot of people. At some point, it ain't everybody around you. At some point, it may be you. Could you have had a, a whole bin full of snakes around you? Possibly. But I'm pretty sure there was one good friend within that that group that at one point in time you stopped talking to them because they weren't feeding the delusion or something else occurred. I just, I find it hard that, and this isn't just with her, this is with everybody. You can't keep telling me that people around you are just flaking away and ain't nobody in your damn corner. Ain't nobody in your corner. At some point in time, we have to take accountability for us. Even if it is, hey, I didn't do anything wrong in this situation, but it was my fault for gravitating to people like that. Hopefully that makes sense. Hope that she truly finds peace um, on this journey that she's on, but I also hope that she has some time to self-reflect as well, because I'm telling you that self-reflection is a motherfucker. I've told y'all previously, I lost friendships and it was my fault. Like just being a spoiled bitch or maybe just not even knowing how to be a friend. Sometimes that's the thing too. This is a little bit of orange. I'm just blending out that, um, that brown into you know making it a nice little transition but yeah sometimes you don't know how to to be a friend that's something that you may have to evaluate yourself take some time to yourself and you need people around you or who are going to be able to to help you and mold you everybody let me tell y'all too something else about friendship is friendships are not just one size fits all if y'all hear my children i apologize they're going crazy right now um, but it's not a one size fit all, right? The way that I am a friend to one person may not be the way that I am a friend to another person. And not meaning that the genu I'm not genuine or I'm not loyal, not any of that. It's just the way that I play with this person, I probably can't play with you because you're a little bit more sensitive and I have to understand that. You know, like just friendships are not a oh, one size fit all. Like you, you have to learn, genuinely learn people in order to be a good friend. I absolutely love this color, this one right here, sorry, that color right there, but it is so hard to get it to show up on camera, but guess what, we're gonna try it. As y'all can see, I really was a fan of this palette because baby, I've hit pan on almost every single color, right? Because it was my shit, oh my goodness. That color just, oh, just does something to me, girl. It gives me like a million vibes or something. Like, y'all hear my kids? It's never a dull moment in my house. All right, so then I'm going to move on to this eye over here. You guys also want to know something else I've seen online that I want to touch on. Oh my gosh, that does something to me. It's like a fucking orgasm. Oh, it looks so damn good. My gosh. Um, another thing that I wanted to touch on is I've been seeing online because y'all know I be in TikTok streets. I fuck with TikTok, okay? I don't post often, but I just fuck with it. Actually, I'm trying to get to a point where I post a little bit more. I'm trying to get my content up. We'll see what happens. But, um, anyway, I saw this creator on there. I guess his name is like Terry or something like that. Terry Reloaded or whatever. But he wound up crying because the internet thought he was homophobic because he plays this Tabina character, which is like basically a mockery of black women. I blocked him like two years ago, right? I honestly block a lot of creators who just put a wig on and portray this ghetto ratchet as, you know, I don't know, mockery of black women. I just find that it's weird. This is a little bit of black I'm going in with, but I just find that it's fucking weird. It's like, it's it's no other gimmick that you could do to come online and get laughs and get clicks and get money. I don't know. I just find like they just do it for 
attention, right? But anyway, this happened to backfire on him because he does the character so well that now people are assuming that he's gay, right? So he got online and he's crying and oh my gosh, this is why I only deal with bitches. Now, to me, it's kind of like, we not women, we, we only bitches. This is a little bit of milk primer I'm using, but it's like, okay, all right, this is why I only hang out with bitches because y'all are men, now they men, right? But we bitches. But y'all don't, um, y'all don't accept me and all this other stuff, and y'all be questioning my sexuality and stuff. And this is where what I say: when you are building a platform, I'm gonna tell y'all, because I feel like in certain aspects I probably could have been a lot bigger. I mean, I don't want to be bigger, but maybe I could have went viral a couple times or whatever if I decided to play these reindeer ass games and do shit for clicks and likes. I wanted an authentic platform, so I made an authentic platform. Now, if that only give me two views, I'm fucking good with two views. My life ain't dependent around in social media, and I think that when you get into this, that is a choice that you have to make. You have to make the choice of, am I going to be so consumed with creating viral content that I'll do anything and everything to scratch that itch or I'm going to be consumed with creating something that is authentic that is the choice that you have to make prior to even sitting down in front of the camera prior to going outside and filming whatever whatever your little niche is you have to you have to think this shit through all right I'm using my um, foundation in the shade New Caledonia and I'm using this girl because I don't figured out how why I was looking so light before girl and I'm not I'm not gonna do that this time okay I had um, a teacher back in cosmetology school who told us, I think it was probably like our first day and one of her speeches was, the way that you start is the way that you have to finish. Meaning if you start out with makeup and you come in here dressed to the nines and stuff, it's the way that you have to finish, right? So you can't come in here half stepping because then people will be like, oh my gosh, are you sick? You feel good today? The way that you start is the way that you have to finish, right? And I, I think that's the prime reliever and it kind of flushes over to almost every aspect of my life. The way that you start is the way that you have to finish. And I'm saying that because the way that he started with this wig and, you know, dressing up and portraying this girl and it, and it's, it doesn't, it's not even a good portrayal of women. Like, the husbands that be portraying their wives when they come home and be like, let me go to Target. Like, them is funny to me. But when you do this character, like, you can't make content outside of this character because you don't feel like you're successful and that's the only thing that gets you laughs, that's when it becomes a problem. But the way that you started is the way that you not finish. So you started out as Tabina, right? And so now that's the way that you have to finish. Oh my gosh, I thought I was recording the entire time and I was not. Um, so up here, down here, down here, that is the Shea Cafe out here. It's a shade chocolate, and then right there on the inner corner where it's a little bit brighter, not too much bright, but it's a little bit bright, that is the shade Walnut. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to use a cream contour stick to contour my face, like so, like that. Um, but basically what I was saying, I don't know if I should contour my forehead, we'll see. Um, but what I was saying was that I find it odd that, let me just say this, I do not believe in bullying of any kind. I do, I, my heart goes out to him for being bullied and maybe he needs to take a break from social media. But what I find odd is that he wants his cake and he wants to eat it too. And the way, what I'm about to say, the way that I feel that way is because you can't say in one breath, I don't like this, I don't like the way y'all treating me, you know, I'm not gay, and I don't like being called gay because I play this character, and you, you're you bashing the character that you play, right? But then, I just seen you at prom with the damn wig to use that you play the character. So it's like either you hate this persona that the character has made for you, or you love it, but you can't have it both ways. You can't say, I hate the way that, you know, this makes me be treated in society, but then I love the attention and I love the money that comes from it. Like, which one is it? It's confusing. You're going to rebrand, right, as Terry, as yourself, um, or you gonna continue to be this character and start crying about it. Like, not trying to be rude, like not literally crying, but I'm just saying like, you can't keep bitching 
about how this character is ruining your life and you know you can't be who you want to be but then in the next breath you're continuing to be this character it, it's just it just don't make no damn sense like you either gonna rebrand your content and become whoever the hell you want to be um that's not a, a character of a woman and move on but we can't keep either you want me to defend you or you don't that, that's where i'm sitting because it's like you're not changing the content the boy was literally at prom with the wig in his hand like about to put it on and become sabina like sir which one is it but then you were just upset about come on come on all right let's go ahead and set we're gonna set with our fenty only the places that we highlighted with chocolate or walnut which will be under our eyes and down our nose fenty is super 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 duper like girl she oh my god she be going on there okay be careful with her she is not to be played with under any circumstances i kind of like to look up too just to kind of set those creases on my eyes it increases a little bit but this next part i'm about to show y'all this this where shit gets good okay this is where it gets good and this is where the face routine has changed baby for the matter okay i did it yesterday and i was in shock i was like bro you smart you is smart you is smart you is kind you is important okay that's what i need to remind y'all so oh my gosh y'all i tried to talk to this um this guy who's a little bit bigger anyway um Best of luck to Terry. Best of luck to Terry. I hope that he rebrands and figures it out, okay? But I try to talk to this guy. He's a little bit bigger. Y'all know my last little encounter with the big guy. Um, he broke my full set that I had on because he rolled over on my head. It was very traumatic on me. I still have not gotten over it. But anyway, I try to talk to him. He's a little bit thicker because, like, you could be thick and still cute, right? But then I started getting in my head, and I was like, baby, this just ain't going to work because... <laughs> My head be driving crazy. <laughs> Hold on, I want to tell y'all. All right, so now we're going to bronze, right? So I found out that if you freaking cream contour, you do not need to go over top of it with a powder contour. At this point, the only thing that you need to be doing is bronzing your skin, okay? Because you've already applied the freaking cream contour. So it's like you're doing double work, girl. Like, we ain't got time for that. It was like a light bulb it went off and then I, it just made sense i don't know it took me a little minute whatever anyway um i started thinking like oh my gosh i don't think that i'm gonna be able to be intimate with this man because whatever that little pocket of meat is right above they um they pbs it's like it freaks me out and i'm not sure that i am ready to deal with that y'all know like on a woman it's called like a fupa on a man is that called like a, a a fupa or whatever it's just like that little thick part of the meat and it just be looking so juicy and it just be hanging there like for me i think i would be petty and fucking squeeze it which is why i say i'm not ready to date anybody that's bigger than me because i remember when i dated that big dude and he took off his clothes and he was just sitting there i'm like oh my gosh like it just it's so thick like it's just a look i don't know i don't know anyway i can't get outside of my head and then i felt like oh my goodness if if we do mess around and do something, then is it going to, like, the sounds that I hear is probably not going to be me falling your back. Like, it's probably going to be your ass smacking against, I mean, your stomach smacking against my ass. I don't know. I'm picturing this, and I'm just like, I can't, I can't do it. Then, then I'm like, you know, because I know you're probably like, well, why don't you just change positions? Yeah, that's cool. But then, like, I got a little bit of stomach. He got stomach it's just gonna be two stomachs and then i'm like do i have to lift up the stomach or it's just mentally i'm not ready to go there just yet not yet all right then then i go in with this bronzer right here oh my gosh i use the bottom shade i'm gonna carve out my cheekbone so i like doing it this way because the line is not so harsh and it just mm. It just flows together. It just melts. Because, you know, a lot of times when you do this part right here, y'all see. I know y'all see it. I know y'all look at that. The difference in the face. But a lot of times what you'll do is, for me, like, it just be that harsh demarcation line. And I fucking hate that. And I tried so many different setting powders. And I was like, well, let me try this. I think I had tried it before in another video. Um, but just didn't know how to execute it well. 
But baby, this is it. Then I'm gonna go in with that little top shade at the top and then I'm just gonna set any place that I set with the cafe. You know what I'm saying? So it can add like some dimension to my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's working out. Looks good. And you just blend all that in. Girl, stop playing with her. Stop playing. Do y'all see the cut? The new color. The new haircut. What was my girl? I can't remember. Miss Deborah, what she said? The new cut. The new color. Girl, I know y'all getting into it. Baby, because that's just. <sighs> Alright, we're going to add some blush. I'm probably going to be mixing those two together. And I'm just going to bring that blush right here. Right there. You know? I love it. I feel like my face is carved out. I've never had that before. It's carved. It's lit. Hey, I just want to let y'all know. So random. But there are 50,000 50, reasons why we could be upset and be pissed off at the world or whatever. But find you one reason. Something that makes you happy. I don't care if it's ice cream. I don't care what it is. You find you something that makes you happy. And you live your life, okay? Because there, again, it's so many things in the world that we could be complaining about that sometimes I feel like we really do forget how to just be happy, you know? So find you something that makes you happy and enjoy yourself and live your life. All right, y'all take nothing else from this video. Take that. This right here is a little bit of um, lace from uh, Make a Revolution and I'm just going in and just, you know, carving out my face. That's about it. That's the that's it, nothing major. I'm not going to apply it everywhere. Um, I just want to apply it on the places that I just really want to be brought out a little bit. So I'm gonna try to apply this down my nose, maybe, because my hand is not steady. And sometimes I'll be making this a little bit too big. All right, and see it. Put a couple curls in my head, and then I also put on my little holiday PJs, baby, and it feels too big. I be feeling like, I be forgetting that I lost weight, baby, but it's okay because I don't feel like going back up to Target to switch them. So this is just going to have to work, okay? But my pants are very baggy and my shirt is oversized, but I mean, who wants to tight fitting clothes anyway? But it's fine. It's completely fine, but yeah. Um, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up by doing our lip in a second. But do y'all see how chiseled? and contoured my face is. Oh, I'm here for it. If y'all hear that bass, child, I don't know what the hell my neighbors are doing. They're in their own little world and, and it's fine by me. All right, I'm gonna start with a little bit of a dark brown. I probably should have not started with that. But I mean, hey, we're here. It's, it's fine, it's fine. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking like this would probably be like a really cute, um, what do you call that? New Year's look too. I guess I could do this on New Year's, huh? I don't know what the hell I'm doing on New Year's. I don't even know my boo in town on New Year's. I'm going in with the makeup by Mario. This right here is in the shade, what shade is this? Milk chocolate? No, this one's dark chocolate. Child, I'm trying to rush and get up out of here. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Fenty Hot Chocolate right here. Because y'all know I love to do me a good gloss. And then I'm going to hit it with my NYX. I know y'all know y'all probably like, oh, she's going to use Fortune Cookie. Nope, not using Fortune Cookie. Yeah, I'm using, child, I don't know what shade this is. It says SLHP07. But it's like a... Liquid lipstick on one end and then a gloss on the other. And I don't know, that might be too blended for me. I might need to go in, which I am. All right, so because that's too blended, I like more of an ombre lip. I'm going to use this. This is a liquid lip gloss. Um, Y'all, I honestly got this when I was trying to start my own business or whatever. So um, I'm not really sure where you can find it in stores, but I will be working on that for y'all. All right, guys, so here we are. This is the finished look. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. So, overall, this is the updated 
base or my foundation routine and I absolutely love it as you guys can see that new Caledonia because for the longest time I was like oh my goodness it's not my shade well that's because you were you know contouring and highlighting and it just didn't look right but as y'all can see it matches perfectly I absolutely love it um and then I'm also using less product not so much concealer not so much contour so I can hold on to my little powders um, but like I told you guys, if you guys are going to powder contour, there is no need for cream contour. If you're going to cream contour, there is no need for powder contour. It kind of balances itself out. Um, but now I can really tell the difference between a bronzer and a contour powder. And I absolutely love it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. I love the eyeshadow. Y'all know this is probably like one of my fave eyeshadows to do. I've done this in the past. Um, also the brows. I feel like the brows were definitely hitting as well. Kind of starting a little bit further back and then filling in the top portion with like that little pin or whatever. Chef's kiss. I absolutely love it. But yeah, that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time.